Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope because we are joined back by the one and only Countess Luanda Lesseps. Hi, darling. What's going on, Luann? Welcome back. We have to stop meeting like this. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I had a very busy uh, Thanksgiving, lots of family, but fantastic. Yeah. How about you? Good. I mean, I saw your posts. You posted some family pictures over Thanksgiving. Well, listen, I hope that you rested up during Thanksgiving because, I mean, you're on the road for the rest of the year, my dear. You just finished your Chicago mini residency, and now you're headed to Georgia and Tampa and then L.A., and then you end the year in Huntington. Yes, I'm super excited. You know, I just, I love the show and I, you know, I love holiday shows. I love Christmas music. I get to sing my song, What Do I Want for Christmas? Just You. So I love it. <laughs> I mean, did you ever think way back when you were being heckled in the audience by Miss Dorinda Medley over Giovanni that, I mean, you would be here? I mean, this has turned into like a national bona fide sold out year after year now, Luann. I know since 2018, I'm just, you know, I, I love it. And I think that's what shows, I think people come to the show and they are expecting, you know, um, some sort of, sort of car crash and they drive out in a, um, in a Rolls Royce. Uh, so, you know, I love bringing that. I love that they come, they don't know what to expect and they leave like thrilled and, there's nothing that feels better than that. I'm really doing what I love. You know, I've <clears throat> written so many songs now and um, the, you know, the last Christmas song, um, <clears throat> I, you know, I perform in the shows and I, I just have such a great time, you know, and it's always about what's going on in my life. And, you know, so I, I have this personal relationship with the audience, uh, which is awesome. And they have a personal relationship amongst themselves because they're, they come in as fans you know, they, um, they spend, you know, an hour and a half with me and, um, and they have a great time. They make new friends. They have something in common, which is the housewives and, and, and their love of Bravo. So, you know, I feel like, you know, when they come, I've really delivered a great show and, and, you know, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, year after year, I keep selling out my shows because it's a great show that I work really hard on people you know i don't think are aware of that that you know i have the director of barbara streisand and uh kristen chenoweth and you know and i i have an amazing musical director um billy stritch and brian nash and you know and i've got a great band and um and I, we just have the best time you know i'm so looking forward to the rest of the tour uh, and, you know, celebrating the holidays with everybody. What fun is that? I mean, with my fans who I always say, you know, I could trip and fall on the stage and they'd be like, that was so elegant, Countess. You know what I mean? So they're there to support me. They just love me. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And you do end the year, like I said, in Huntington on the 23rd. And then, you know, you have about a month off. You have New Year's and then you're right back out for the new year. You're in Boston. Are you doing anything for New Year's or is it too early? I mean, to make your New Year's plans when you're the Countess. Yeah, well, no, I, you know, listen, you know, New Year's, uh, you know, I got married on New Year's once. So for me, you know, New Year's is kind of a, it, it, it's whatever, it's, it's whatever kind of pops up. You know, I, uh, I, I love to celebrate the new year, but I'm not such a, like, we got to do something amazing for New Year's Eve. Just being with close family, friends, um, and, and being with people I love is really the best for me. I mean, I'm going to be traveling a lot, so I'm really looking forward to just um, relaxing. Um, for the moment, it looks like I'll be in Miami, and um, at least it'll be nice and warm. And I have friends that have their yacht that they want to take it out on the intercoastal. So, so far, that's my plan. And uh, and just enjoying the, some sun and warmth and um, and I'll be just getting off, you know, my Christmas tour and and getting stoked for Boston and Foxwoods Casino I'm doing as well. Um, and then some Valentine's Day shows at 54 Below in February. You're right back to where it all began. Exactly. Do you have a high of like, you know, as we close out the year, like is the high of 2022 just that you are now back on the road, like full time, more or less? Well, 
lot to be high about. You know, I, um, I've got my tour, which is working really well and I'm working on Australia now and London. So um, I'm super excited about an international tour. We just got, you know, Canada. Um, I just played Toronto and Vancouver uh, last spring. Um, I can't believe it's going to be spring again soon. I can't believe it's even the holidays right now. But um, so a lot to look forward to, you know, uh, they just announced the, you know, the kind of uh, show with Sonia and I at BravoCon, which is coming out in the spring. So a lot of really exciting things and also, you know, the the legacy show. So um, so a lot of things on my plate and and, and making a new batch of Fosé. Making a new batch of Fosé. And yes, they did announce Welcome to Crappy Lake at BravoCon with you and Sonia. Like, what was that experience like fil filming that in a town less than 7,000? Amazing. And I think a lot of the guys were just as stunned <laughs> because nobody really knew about this new show. You know, we filmed it uh, last summer and uh, and it's going to be coming out in April. And we're just super excited because it's a comedy. It has nothing to do with Housewives. Um, and, you know, it'll be a totally different, um, you know, kind of medium for me to work in uh, with Sonia and comedy. And, you know, they're comparing it to The Simple Life, but it's really kind of a, a, a different version of The Simple Life. Not, you know, not even, but. Uh, that's what they're comparing it to. But uh, we had a lot of fun. It's going to be super funny. Uh, and so I'm excited for the fans to see that show. Well, you are a countess. You're a woman of the world. Like, what what did you learn about yourself in, you know, spending time in this town that has less than 7,000 people? Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I grew up in a small town and so did Sonia. And, you know, listen, our lives have changed a lot since then. And, you know, we've lived all over and um, we have a certain lifestyle in New York City. And so to go back into a small town um, was really interesting. I mean, I feel like I can hang with the best of them and, and I can hang with everyday people. And uh, that's, you know, I have a big family and they're just all really cool, laid back, you know, um, normal people, let's call it, uh, who aren't reality TV stars and um and so you know i loved it i i really we really connected with the locals and um you'll see a totally different side of of sonia and i in the show and and it's it and it's very comical so it's it it's a good time and you know i'm super super stoked about that and and for people to see me in a different light did you learn anything about Sonia? I mean, you've worked with her for all these years on Roni. Like, did you learn anything? Do you know it was just you and Sonia, like you said this time? After 13 years of Housewives, I don't know if there's anything more to learn about. <laughs> well, I mean, well, one of the things I learned is that she really likes to spend time alone. You know, she's a bit of a recluse when it comes to when she's not filming. She likes to really just stay at home and she like, you know, I don't know if you remember that one episode we were at our house and we were painting her outdoor furniture and we put on these, these painting outfits. And um, that's really Sonia. She's a homebody. She loves to be at home. She's very uh, loves to be the hostess and loves to entertain and loves to be at home. And uh, so you're going to, you're going to see some of that on the show and, and a lot of other really interesting stuff. Which of your former Roni castmates do you think would have had the hardest time adjusting to this rural town? Uh, I think probably, 